Hello everyone, I have another review for you. Before I begin, disclaimer, I received a complimentary copy of this Bible from a publisher in exchange for my honest review. Today's review is the Greek-English New Testament 28th Russell Allen edition of the Greek text with the English Standard Version accompanying it. Now, I got this guy a few years back. This is the 16th edition. So I've jumped 12 editions, and this particular one is just simply a pocket Greek New Testament. There's your Koine Greek right there. That's it. Nothing else. Jump over to this guy, and what you have is Greek and English in one, and I really appreciate the difference. Partly because I question sometimes if a particular word or phrase is translated well and seeing it on both sides you can at least understand why a particular translator went the way they did when you see the variants as well as the cross references and I appreciated that. Two big highlights for me out of this particular one. First, I'll open this again just to take a look. I like how large of a typeface this is. When you come over to this pocket guy that I showed you earlier, we're talking dinky and just here even some English introduction very small not a big deal if you're just looking for something portable but if you want to do some study sometimes eye strain can get to you and having a larger typeface is a nice benefit that doesn't require a lot of eye focus easier to read the other thing that I appreciate is they went through and went through the histories of the change of the 28th you don't just get the Greek 28th addition of the Nestle Allen text, and that's it. They actually went through the history of some of the things they brought in, why they updated the 28th, little changes here and there. They also dug into a little bit of some of the alternate texts that are out there, such as the Syriatic, the Latin Vulgate, etc. I really liked that introductory information. I think it's a benefit for somebody who is either learning Greek or has learned some Greek, but doesn't understand a little bit of the textual criticism that is out there. This introduction does quite well to help explain some of the reasons why certain versions exist and why there might be a little bit of variances on why this word or that word and why it was translated using this grammatical structure or that grammatical structure, etc. The Bible itself, good, strong, I like it. Like I said, a little larger because of the typeface, but I didn't feel that it bothered me too much in terms of that, that it wasn't so heavy that I thought to myself, oh my gosh, it's a bow ganger. None of that whatsoever. If you are looking for an interlinear, this is not a satisfactory option. The reason being you have English on one and Greek on the other side. As such, you don't have the word by word going down that a lot of them do, where you usually have a Greek and then underneath is the English and they try to match up the Greek word with the English transliteration or translation. I do understand that Crossway has an interlinear. I'd hope to get a copy of that and review that. I haven't seen anything come my way yet, but you know who knows. That said, sometimes it's just nice to not have the distraction of doing a line by line where you're reading English, then drop and you're in Greek again, then drop to English. It's just nice to read Greek all the way through or English all the way through and not have to switch gears between the different languages. In that respect, I really like this Greek New Testament. Hope that helps you. See you next time.